Did you talk to your dad yet? I did. What did he say? Uh, uh, I mean, look, he's he's a father first, and I know this was certainly an interesting, you know, situation for him. But uh, you know, I knew that he was going to support me no matter what. Uh, uh, blood is thicker than water. Um, certainly, as I said all week, my family and I we have a lot of respect and appreciation for the Rams organization. Uh, they'll always mean a lot to our family. We'll always be thankful for every opportunity they've afforded our family. Um, and I know certainly he feels that way, but uh, tonight I'm just so glad to be a Patriot and so thankful for this experience with my teammates. Uh, it's truly nothing like it. So what did he say? Well, he said congratulations. He was happy. He had my son. Um, you know, he just said he was proud of me. Um, and to be able to experience this with him, you know, I, I just thanked him and my mom for everything they did to make this possible for me. I wouldn't be here without my parents. Matthew, did you think that special teams and the around? You know, you never know how these games play themselves out. Last year, there was one total punt in the game. I think there are 14 punts today. Um, you know, these games uh, are funny sometimes like that, and... You know, to think the game would be 3-3 late in the game, I don't think anybody would have predicted that, but we prepared ourselves in such a way to be ready to, to execute. Obviously, having to deal with Johnny Hecker and all his fakes and bones and all the calls that they make, I felt like we, we dictated the pace of play. Uh, we were able to make some big plays and we needed it. Ryan punted his tail off. Our communication was great, so all around we played very well. Little Birdie told me that. Matthew, it's tough, man. I mean, Pat is, is an emotional leader for us. He brings so much toughness, um, so much grit to our team, so much passion. And to see him go out, I think it, it was, you know, kind of a blow to us. I think we kind of had to pull ourselves out of a little bit of a fog there. Uh, but when he came back out on the field, he made sure everybody was focused, locked in and trying to make the most of our opportunity. Uh, his leadership was, was very important tonight. Matthew, you mentioned last year, and you know, this podium last year was a lot more uh, disappointing. How does this team and you guys come back from that and get here? You guys are the first team to win after losing here before in like, 30, character. 40 years. This character, I mean, I, I've said it all year long. You know, so many times we want to talk about, well, this guy's this size, runs this speed, has put up these numbers, he's that age. Um, you know, there's no way to, to quantify character. And what you have in there are 53 plus guys that just have belief and character. And that character is built when, when the lights are off and that's built off the football field. Uh, making tough decisions, doing the right things when nobody's looking, uh, not seeking your own glory, but trying to see, you know, and do what's best for others at all times. And you got guys in there they truly bought into that and display that each and every day, and that's why we're sitting here talking now. What the impact Rock and Jules had on the game? Pardon me? Rock and Jules, the impact those two guys had on the game? Super Bowl MVP Jules? You talking about him? <laughs> yeah, uh, too small, too short, you know, too slow. So I, I'm surprised you won the MVP. <laughs> Matthew, Jason said that there were signs posted. Counting a punt at the five-yard line, what goes into that? You did it a couple times. Yeah, yeah you, you know, know Ryan and I, we practiced that a lot, and... You know, it depends on the situation where we're on the field. Um, you know, we work on that a lot. And, and again, that's not a glamorous play, but in a game like this, when field position is so critical, it was nice to be able to, to make those plays to help swing the game. And also Gronk, by the way, I didn't answer that. He played his tail off tonight too. Not bad for a guy who's washed up, right? <laughs> Matthew, Jason said that there were, uh, there were signs posted all year long. I'm sorry. But the defense. The defense. I mean, look, the, the Rams, their offense has been unbelievable all season long. I mean, they've got some of the most explosive players at their positions across the board. The quarterback, the kid's going to be good for a long time. But the way those guys play tonight, I mean, really unbelievable. Uh, for them to be able to compete down after down, keep pressure on Jared and, and you know, stay in the face of the receivers, it was really big. Jason McCordy had mentioned that best corner in the league. Jason McCordy had mentioned that all year long throughout the building there were some signs that said, is the Patriots dynasty done? Is this the ultimate vindication for you? Well, I mean, we don't do it to, to say, aha, I told you so. I, I, I said a few things in jest here earlier, just for some laughs, but 
you know, we do it for one another. We don't need the approval of men. That's not what we work for. Um, if you work for the approval of men, you'll never be satisfied. And I think you have a lot of men of faith in this room uh, that are working for something much bigger than themselves. And ultimately, there's there's only uh, one person's approval, and that's the good Lord that I want at the end of the day. So. Hey man, have you, could you talk about Jason and Devin and what they're they're pumped over here today, man, about just being together? Man, man. this is so special for their family. Uh, for them to be able to be on a journey together the last 31 years, and Jason to have the type of career that he's had with a lot more downs than ups, uh, to come over here and contribute in such a big way for our team and play alongside his brother, um, you can't write you can't write a story better than that. And those two brothers are special men. Um, it's an honor to call them teammates. What gives you that burden in your belly to be that special teammates? that you are, and you have been consistent. Uh, you know, I like playing football, I just want a job, so whatever they ask me to do, I'm gonna do.